Hello everybody, Zen Okami here from Essence of Zen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a program using Python programming language to take a binary number and convert it into a decimal. Now we made a video last year of how to take a decimal number and convert it into a binary number in Python. And one of our users or our, our viewers actually asked us to do you know it in reverse. So in that previous video that I'm going to link on the video now we showed you the algorithms used to basically do the conversion for binary to decimal. And the good news is, if you could follow along with that, because that used a lot of modulos and division, you should be able to do this algorithm a lot easier, in terms of on paper. So let's start off with uh, an example. So we're going to have the decimal number 5, which in binary is 101. Zero one. All right. Now there's something you always want to keep your mind on, right? So, in converting a binary to a decimal, you need to you need to know two things. That's your starting power for your exponent, because you're going to be doing um, exponential work, and you need to know your index, your location of which binary digit you're working on. So your starting power. Write that here starting power and I'll also have like a button on here so you can skip ahead to the programming starting power will always equal um, your number let me put it in parentheses of bits minus the number one and your index index well we can put your last index will equal uh, yeah, technically number of bits minus one as well yeah so I'll just throw this down here with a little arrow sign that's that's an arrow sign don't don't I'm drawing on a, the bamboo tablet but anyway so you're probably wondering why is it number of well one you might be wondering what the hell is a bit um a bit is basically a binary number a like eight bits make up one byte so you know how you have like megabytes and terabytes etc if you want to go straight down to one byte it is made up of eight bits uh, da -da -da -da. sorry about that it is made up of one byte is made up of eight bits, and a bit is a binary number. So, the number, the, the decimal number five in binary one zero one, one zero one is three is three bits long. So, this program that we're gonna make will only go up to about um, eight eight bits or one byte. So, our maximum decimal number I do believe is two hundred and fifty five because we're not doing it signed, so it's not two hundred and fifty four. I think. A little sketchy on that um, but anyway to the algorithm so what you want to do is basically break every bit apart so you're gonna have we're gonna start with with the number one on the far left and we're gonna have our starting power so it's a one so you're gonna have one times two to the power of since we have three bits so it's gonna be three minus one to the power of two Okay, that's one. That, that, that's one little section. Now we're going to go off into the next one, next bit, which is zero. So we're going to do parentheses zero times two. That's supposed to be a two there. To the power of this right here is number two. So two minus one because number of bits yada 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 um, will be one. And that's our second portion, and we do the exact same thing going down the line. We're going to have one for our far most right number, or um, far most right bit, rather. Two to the power of zero. And that's why you have to have that minus one. 
you have to do the minus one because if you don't if you forget to, to take one off the maximum number or your highest uh, exponent you're going to have one times two to the power of three this to two to the power of two and two times the power of one and you're going to get the wrong answer and if you want to test it I mean feel free to test it. I'm going to show you how it works out this way so you know order of operations please excuse my dear aunt Sally you do the exponent first so 2 to the power of 2 is 4 4 times 1 is 4 uh, 4 plus uh, 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 times 0 is 0 yay gotta love those zeros um, 2 to the power of 0 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 4 plus 0 equals 4 4 plus 1 equals 5 and that's it that, that, that is the algorithm for converting binary back into decimal and I'm, I'm pretty sure you're wondering, where did the last index, like, what, 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 does, what does this fall under? Um, if you watched our previous video, we used Python's versions of, of arrays, which are called lists. Lists is basically a container of information. And in those containers, you can have smaller containers, or just, you can have objects, rather. I don't think they're really considered to be objects in Python, because Python is so much different from Java. But, uh... You can, you know, get into that business on your own. This is basically just describing the overall algorithm and the program itself later on. Uh, so yeah, the index is basically the location of the bit. So we have um, a binary number that's three bits long. So we have our index. So we have a zero, one, and a two. Okay. And the reason why you need to keep track of that is because when you follow this algorithm, you have to start at zero. You have to go from left to right. Because imagine if, uh, programming-wise, if you lose track of which zero or which one you're, you're dealing with, it, it, it'll make it easier for the actual inline programming. So, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to move my uh, tablet, my bamboo tablet, out of the way. And we're going to actually pull up idle that already opened it um, no I didn't actually give me one moment guys oh, not typing uh. Binary to decimal. Oh, my keyboard fell. Decimal. Did I spell decimal right? I don't know. Alright, so what I just basically did is created a. I should have did the on screen. Basically, I went to, you know, uh, a folder. I created a new text file and I named it binary to decimal.py. And that'll make it a lot easier in terms of just right clicking, edit with idle. So now we have our blank uh, kind of IDE. It's not really an IDE because uh, people are gonna, you know, give me hell for yeah, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and do some good code convention. Um, and I like to just say what this program is. So it is a binary uh, to decimal. Converter. Is converter with an E or an O at the end? Like convert, convert or. Ah, uh, I'm not a. Yeah, give me some slack, guys. So, um, if you know me, I like to go ahead and do um, like methods in my Python programs. So, if you don't know what the method is, you can you know, ask me the questions below in the comments, and I can explain a little bit more for you guys. But essentially, we know we're going to have a main method uh-huh uh and we're going to go ahead and create a method for the actual conversion so um, if you know me personally I like camel code and I don't like doing a lot of abbreviations so even if it takes me a little longer to type out I'm fine with that because it's easy to read binary to decimal if I spell it right um and we'll leave it at that for the moment, so I'll, I'll put pass here so it doesn't give me any error. Okay. Now, 
if you also saw my previous video, you know I like to user proof things, so we're gonna have to get some inputs. So as I told you before, this program will utilize only up to eight bits, nothing more. It can be less than eight bits so long as it's not negative, but nothing more than eight bits. So we have to create a uh, a perpetual type of loop, so the user can you know if they input something wrong it'll send them back and I'm not gonna go you know super heavy on user proofing the program because that's not what I'm here for but you know just some little help so we're going to get our main loop and this will be basically asking the user if they're done if they say no then it'll send the main program back so get our main loop ready so we'll create a variable called loop I like to set it equal to zero um, and then we can go up. Oh, forget Python is so weird, so different. While do Python use parentheses and loop and while loops? Uh, I, th I think so. While loop uh, is equivalent to zero, we want to go ahead and do our inner loop. Now this is where we'll say input the numbers, and if they input, uh, let's say too many bits they'll get sent back to this inner loop but not the outside main loop so we'll say switch equals to zero and then while switch equal is equivalent to zero we're gonna get into the actual meat of the code did you know that code had meat Yes, programmers are wizards and codes have meat in them. We're we're harvesting the the meat of the juicy code. Um Well let's go ahead and get started with something simple. Enter a binary number. Binary number equals uh is it I've been programming in Java for a while, so I'm I'm use I'm thinking of scanner and system dot out dot print line. I think it's input, yeah, input, uh, please enter 8-bit binary number. Uh, sorry, someone just sent me a message. Uh, we leave, we're going to leave a space in so the user can actually uh, continue without, you know, typing it right after the, this, the colon. Uh, now we need to go ahead and make this into a list. So I'm going to use the same kind of convention I did before, and I used a an array, well, a Python list. So we're going to say binary uh, number list. This is one thing I do like about uh, Python. Actually, I can just turn this into a list. Binary number, and I'm going to show you what that does. So um, uh, da, 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 print binary number and print binary oh, number list. And then we're going to run it. Okay, it didn't do anything. Um, oh, that's why. Uh, do, 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 main. <laughs> Sorry about that. Please enter eight bit number. We'll just do one zero zero one one zero zero yeah. And so we printed out the binary number, which is one zero zero one. And then we made a list out of it. So now we have every bit by itself separated. So if I wanted to now, let me go ahead and uh keep myself out of that. I can now essentially pick whatever index. When I talk about that index is gonna come back in a programming. I can actually grab that index now. So we'll print binary number list. Oh, not lost. List. At index zero. All right? Now watch this. So we're going to do 1001 again. Bam. It went ahead and gave us the zero placement uh, index for this list. So now that we got these out of the way, I'm going to comment them out. 
because we don't really need those in the, the grand scheme of the code. Um, now, in order for us to get that um, that power, I mean, we're going to use an, an exponent, we need to know how long the actual uh, binary number is. So because that the user can actually make uh, an input less than 8 bits, so they can do 3 bits or 4 bits, the exponent can be anywhere from 0 to, to uh, 7. Okay, so to fix that or to know what we're doing or to know what the exponent is, we actually got to go ahead and get the length. So, uh, binary length is lin, uh, lin, I think. I think, yeah. Yeah, the length of an object. So, now that we have that, we have to do binary number list and this should give us the you know how long it is so now I can do print binary length and we're gonna run it do the same one zero zero one and it gave us four so now that we know that the the number is four bits long we know that the starting exponent for that number is going to be three so now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out. God darn it. Um, now we need to make sure that you know if the user inputs in a number that's longer than eight, or rather eight bits long, that they don't, they can't continue. So that's where we're you know, gonna do our basic if statement. If, uh, God darn it, this keyboard is really weird for me. Um, binary length is greater than eight. Then, what are we gonna do? Uh, we do. Um, please do not input uh, a number longer than eight bits. And we'll do a period because we'd like to have nice punctuation. And then we're going to go ahead and do a space just because uh, we keep it organized. So then we're going to go ahead and do an else statement because if they do anything, it, even if you know they, they can't enter a negative uh, long or a, yeah, you see what I'm going. They can't do a, a negative length of an object. So so we're gonna basically just not account for that. Did I? Am I forgetting something? Am I forgetting something? I don't know if I am. We'll, we'll see. Um, let's test it as, as we go, though. As a matter of fact, uh, print yes. It's always a good idea to test things as you go. I did not call you Galaxy. I did not call you. Um, so it printed yes. So we know that it was um, is not longer than uh, eight bits. Let's test out if it is longer. So one zero zero one one zero zero one zero. Please do not input a number longer than eight bits. And we can try again. Sweet. I don't know why that. Uh, bracket into it yes but whatever so now we need to now that we know uh, we have that particular system in place we have to do uh, a check for every single bit in the index I do believe so this is basically saying if a user inputs a number two somewhere in that binary number is it'll be invalid so for to do that we got to do a for loop and I don't think I remember how to do uh, Hold on, I got another message um, I don't think I remember how to do the for loops and uh, hold on. Alright, um, if I can remember correctly, how do you do for loops in um, Python? 
you use the uh, range. You can, you can do range, but I don't think I need to use range for this. So we'll say for not a, a new item or new object bit inside of our binary number list. And I think this will work because we, we're checking for any object, well, an object for every single um, object in our list. And we're going to check them. So if said object is, uh, and yeah, okay, yeah, because Python, you, you don't declare whether the item is an int or a string beforehand like you do in other programming languages. And since we're doing uh, a user input, it's going to be a string. So because it's a string, we have to convert it to an int right now because you can't do mathematical operations. Um, wait, yeah, because I'm going to do a comparison. So if a number is greater than 1, then... You know, it's not going to work, but if a string, if a string character one, uh, one is placed, it won't be given a mathematical value of, of a number one. It's a, a character, a, uh, a keyboard input. It's a string. So we're going to change it into an int, and we're going to do bit is greater than one, or... Yeah, or if the int is a negative number, so if it's less than zero, then we're going to do print uh, invalid binary number, only use zeros and ones. And then we're going to do another space. Um, else for no, don't need, don't need another for loop. I think we just yeah we just print um space and then we can go ahead and do a switch equals to one so we get out of this loop. Um, one thing I do hate about Python is the indent. I gotta get back to. Is this still under? Yes, it is. Um, that one. So now we're we're out of the uh, the while loop that focus on a switch. So if all goes well let me go ahead and do another space there if all goes well um we can actually print yes real quick for testing of course um let's test it out and put a number so if we do like two we'll get the invalid binary number only use zeros and ones please enter eight bit binary number um zero zero one and it gave us the yes. And more than one space needed. So let me remove this. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, now that... Excuse me, it just burped. Excuse me again. So now that we have um, our information, basically our, our building blocks for conversion, we can go ahead and go back up to here. Now... To do everything in our um, algorithm, so we're going to have the index, we're going to have the power. Uh, we only use two objects, I think. Uh, so, let me see, let me see. Oh, no. We, I said the index. No, we don't, need the, we don't need to do the index because we need the list. So we can go ahead and actually pass in the binary list, binary list, and the binary length, and we'll use the binary length to actually get the power inside the method. So uh, we have to make sure that we remember we passed in our list. 
which is also an array. Whatever they don't. Um, so our index will always start at zero, as we did in our algorithm in the beginning of the video, and our power will always equal um, binary length minus one. And binary length in our method is going to be pulled by our argument, argument, excuse me, right here. So now we are now we have that already. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, oh, we need to have a, a total. Um, total equals zero. Um, and for the moment, okay, yeah. If all goes well, um, let's test it out real quick before I get ahead of myself. We'll call the binary to decimal function, and we're going to pass in our binary number list for our binary list and the binary length yeah and to make sure that we know what these are we can do um, print binary list and print if I spell it right binary length let's give it a shot one zero zero one, and we printed out the, the list and the length. Awesome! So it's it's working thus far. We we we're, we're uh, migrating the core information over to our method, and inside this method, we're going to do the conversion and return back the decimal value. And that decimal value is going to be total. So decimal value. So now that we have that, we got to go ahead and do. Um, now, if I was in, a, in a, another programming language, I do a for loop, and starting at zero, as long as um, my uh, iteration of a of um, a variable is less than uh, or equal to the binary length. No, oh no, because I'm, I'm I'm gonna count down. I think. Yeah, because um, no, I could actually do it that way. I'm I'm, I'm rambling. Um, what we're gonna do is basically, because uh, the for loops in Python are done a little differently than I'm comfortable with from Java, we're going to do a a while loop and we're going to keep checking our power number because our power is going to be, uh in correspondence with our index of our our list so as long as our um, power is greater than zero because once we hit zero that's our last uh, binary number in terms of index once it's done with that we're, we're done we're, we're absolutely done so we're gonna do a while loop so while our power it oop, not capital P power is greater than or equal to zero because we want it we want it to steal um, uh, process the code. I guess you. I guess that's the right wording for it. Uh, while that is zero, did I put my if statements? E. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Total will plus equal, and that basically means take whatever total is at the moment and add it up with um, the number we're going to have after the equal sign and remember what we've what we've uh, migrated over are strings so then we have to turn everything into an int uh, and if you remember it has to be our index so if it's like a one or a zero times two to the power of our exponent so let's go ahead and section this off so we're going to have our int binary list at index uh, index yeah at index index uh, and we're gonna go ahead and square that off I think that'll work times 2 to the power of so you use double um, asterisks 
to the power of our power and that should work and that'll give you your you know first uh remember how we did the one zero one and the first one turned out to be a four because it was one times two to the power of two four times one is four that'll give us that first number but what we want to make sure we do is uh, increment the index. So the index has to get bigger so we know to go to the next slot over. So we're going to go ahead and do index plus equal 1. And we have to decrement our, uh, our exponent. So power, power uh, minus equal. Uh, my girlfriend just messaged me. I'll move that over. Uh, you want to do power minus equal one. Um, I think yeah. You want you want to go ahead and let that do all its jazz, all its uh, bells and whistles. And once that loop is done, you want to print out the final sum. So print out our new total. And I think that's the entire program. Let's test it. So we use in our on paper we use uh, the decimal number five one zero one in binary. So let's test it out. It works. It absolutely works. Uh, let's try one zero zero one. That is a nine. Uh, let's try our biggest number possible. One 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 one. One 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 one. That should be two hundred and fifty-five. Boom! Awesome. Uh, I've never tried to see if zero works. Yeah, there you go. We've just completed uh, a binary to decimal program. Simply at that. Uh, I hope uh, you got everything that's going on here. I will be uploading this program or this particular file uh, coded by Zen Okami. Essence of Zen dot org. We've actually got a new website, but we're, it's still under heavy development. So, but yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps out the uh, viewer who asked. Um, anyone else finds it useful? Uh, please like the video, share it to friends who may you know need this. We will be working on more tutorials with Python, and we're still working on more uh, more tutorials with Java as well. It's just Java needs a little more catering to. And Python is the best place to start. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I would probably add, you know, uh, a space here. So every time you finish, it gives you a little jump afterwards. So I can just like, run this again. Uh, control C it out. So then you have a space so you don't get confused at what you're looking at. But yeah. Uh that's 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 it. So like I said, you know, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um you have any questions about the program at hand, uh leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh my name is Zen Okami and take care guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.